Welcome to today's video, where we will explore how the lubrication system works in gyratory and hydrocone crushers. To help us understand this complex system, we'll refer to a detailed diagram which will be further explained in the video. Additionally, we'll discuss a daily inspection checklist to prevent any breakdowns and ensure the smooth operation of these crushers. The lubrication system in these crushers is critical for maintaining proper functioning and preventing costly damages. Let's delve into the key components and their roles. Following are the important components of lubrication unit. One shutoff valve. The one shutoff valve is utilized to cut off the oil supply, enabling maintenance work to be performed safely before the oil reaches the heat exchanger. It's an essential safety measure during maintenance operation. Dirt Trap The dirt trap is designed to capture any dirt or contaminants present in the oil. Regular cleaning of the dirt trap helps prevent damage to the lubrication pump and other components, ensuring smooth system operation. Oil Pump Lubrication Pump The oil pump, also known as the lubrication pump, plays a vital role in pumping oil throughout the system. This positive displacement pump ensures a consistent and controlled flow of oil to various parts that require lubrication. Oil filter. The oil filter is responsible for filtering the oil, removing impurities, and ensuring the oil remains clean and free from contaminants. It helps maintain the lubricating properties of the oil and prevents damage to sensitive components. Heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is utilized to cool down the oil, ensuring it stays within the desired temperature range. By dissipating excess heat, the heat exchanger helps to prevent overheating and potential damage to the system. Distribution valve. The distribution valve is a crucial component for regulating the oil flow through different lines within the system, such as AUG4 and AUG5. This valve allows operators to control and balance the oil distribution to ensure proper lubrication in all required areas. In this oil flow process, we have a fascinating system that involves a heat exchanger divided into two levels. The upper line, AUG4, and the lower line, AUG5. Let's take a closer look at how this process works. The oil is initially split, with one, three of the oil flowing into the oil flowing into the upper line, and two, three of the oil flowing into the lower line. This division ensures proper distribution for lubrication purposes. Starting with the lower line, AUG4, the oil enters and passes through a step bearing. It is then directed upwards between the eccentric bushing and the main shaft. This flow of oil provides essential lubrication to the bearing, ensuring smooth operation. Now let's focus on the oil entering from the upper line, AUG5. This oil is pressed between the bottom shell bushing and the eccentric. From there, it cascades down over the gear wheel, effectively lubricating the bevel gearing. To maintain the system's efficiency and prevent any potential issues, routine inspections are crucial. These inspections should include the following checks. Pressure developed by the pump. The pressure should be above 5 bar for the hydrocon crusher. If the pressure falls below this threshold, it may indicate a problem with the pump that needs attention. Flow through AUG4 and AUG5. It's important to monitor the flow of oil through these lines. If there is lower flow in either AUG4 or AUG5, it can be regulated using a distribution valve. However, if the flow cannot be properly regulated even after adjusting the valve, it suggests an issue with the heat exchanger. In such cases, either cleaning or replacement of the heat exchanger may be required. Return temperature of oil. To prevent any damage to the bushings, the return temperature of the oil should be lower than 55 to DSAP. 
Elevated temperatures can adversely affect the lubricating properties of the oil and lead to premature wear. Oil condition for dirt. Regularly inspect the oil for the presence of dirt or contaminants. If dirt is detected, it is crucial. To replace the oil to prevent damage to the lubrication pump and other components. By conducting these routine inspections and addressing any issues that arise, we can ensure the smooth operation and longevity of the entire system. Remember, Proper maintenance is key to keeping industrial processes running efficiently and minimizing the risk of equipment failure. Stay tuned for more insightful content like this on our YouTube channel.